Sharing the gospel with someone can seem intimidating and overwhelming for even the strongest and most mature believers. How can we be faithful gospel witnesses? Let me propose three important ideas. One, we need prayer. We should regularly be asking God through Jesus Christ by his Holy Spirit to prepare us to be witnesses for him. I heard a neat acronym recently that can be used in our prayers for our witness. The acronym involved the use of the name Bob. We should pray for a burden. We should pray for opportunities and we should pray for boldness in our witness. The Holy Spirit of God can supernaturally work in our souls and give us a heaven sent burden for people around us who don't know Christ. God the Father can open doors of opportunity, giving us divine appointments and people of peace, causing our paths to cross with others who need to hear about Jesus. And the Holy Spirit can also give us boldness, that is courage in the face of fear to speak up, to speak out, and to lovingly share Christ. Read the book of Acts, and I think that you'll find the early church had a burden, God provided opportunities, and God gave the early church boldness. So pray. But then secondly, I would offer this piece of advice, prepare. Be prepared with gospel truth. Make sure that your heart, soul, and mind, your tongue as well, are ready for sharing the realities of Christ. How can we do this? Well, I think of two ways we can be prepared. One, everywhere we go, we can have gospel tracks like this one I hold in my hand. This gospel track, Steps to Peace with God, was written by Billy Graham and I like to carry these tracks with me and look for those open doors of opportunity. And I often ask with the track, can I leave something with you? Could I share this with you? Can I give you a little pamphlet here that shares a message that really changed my life? A track is a great way for being prepared to share the gospel. Tracks are helpful, but also I think about our testimony, tracks and our testimony. Years ago, I was helped by a concept known as a three-minute testimony. A three-minute te three testimony goes like this. For about a minute, you talk about your life before Christ. For about a minute, you talk about how you met Christ. And for about a minute, you talk about your life after Christ. I can give my three-minute testimony in close to a minute. I like to say there was a time in my life where I had little purpose or direction. Life seemed, seemed meaningless. As a result, I made a lot of bad decisions in life and I lived kind of a hopeless existence. But then I heard I was created for a relationship with God, I understood that I was a broken, imperfect person, and I heard the good news that God's son Jesus died for my sins. I asked God through Jesus Christ to save me and to come into my life. And since that time, my life has been different. It hasn't always been perfect. There have still been bad things in life, but all along I've known that God loves me and that I'm in a forever relationship with Him. I would encourage you use tracks, but formulate your three minute testimony and be prepared to share that with others. So to be a gospel witness, you need prayer, you need preparation, but number three, I would say, you need to be prepared to proclaim, to proclaim the good news. How can we do this? Well, we need to have eyes to see what Jesus called the fields white unto harvest. We need to understand there are different domains of life in which we can be a gospel witness. Five domains I think of. One, our family. Who in your family doesn't know Christ? Two, our neighbors. Who in your neighborhood, who lives near you that could use a gospel witness? Our family, our neighbors. Number three, our workplace. Who in your workplace doesn't know Christ? Also, number four, think about the marketplace. What shops, stores, businesses do you regularly frequent 
And how could you be a witness in such context? And then lastly, think about places of recreation. Where do you have fun? Where do you go for in entertainment? Where are you engaged in extracurricular activities? At all ages of life, and in each generation of life, there are different things we do for fun, and these places can be a great, great places for sharing a track or our testimony. I hope this helps you in your quest to be a faithful gospel witness.